So naturally, there's got to be some word problems for these, right? And uh, one of these would be compound interest. So simple interest, I equals PRT, but I don't think simple interest is used anywhere in the world because you make more money with compound interest. So hopefully people are not using it against you while you are in debt. And hopefully you, you, you are using it against someone. I don't know how that works, but maybe some of you guys do. All right. I have not discovered that principle yet because, um, well, I'm a teacher. All right. So all we're really looking at here is this, this formula. A equals, um, I think it was the Bernoulli brothers back in the day. They were extremely nerdy as well. So R is the rate. T is the number of years. So if we're looking at months, we may have to divide that year up, okay? In which case, we just use a fraction. And P is the principal. That's whatever you start with or put into an account, which is going to accrue, hopefully, interest rather than accrue more debt. So here is the problem. We are going to use that formula. Find the rate at which $800 compounded annually grows to $882 in two years. So A, and I guess I forgot to mention this, A is the future amount of the account. Yes, that would be the new principal. Uh, after however many years we're looking at. So A in this case is this 882, so we'll put that in. And this is going to equal the principal which is what we started with initially putting into the account, which in this case now is $800. Then we got the rest of this one plus the rate. We don't know the rate. That's what we're solving for. And T is the amount of time, which is two years. So solving this, we want that uh, binomial squared all by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 800. Is everyone okay there? So 882 divided by 800, 1.1025. So this hopefully looks a lot more familiar now. We're just going to square root both sides of this thing. So I got the absolute value of one plus the rate equals plus or minus. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not gonna do that yet. We got 1.1025. Now when I split this up, I have 1 plus the rate equals uh, 1.1025. And I also have 1 plus the rate equals the negative 1.1025. Thank you. The square root of that garbage. So the square root of that is 1 point, sorry, 0 0.05. So that's a 1.05. Here's negative, and this one's a positive 1.05. And now we're going to subtract 1 from both sides of the equations. And here we get uh, negative 2.05 is the rate. And over here we get the rate is 0 0.5. Now we have to ask ourselves, self, which of these makes the most sense? Are we getting charged a negative 205% or are we getting charged, or I guess are we growing the account at a 0.5%? Well, the only one of these that is going to make sense, because if it were a negative rate from this one, that means you would have to be losing money. So uh, that one's no good. So it looks like the only one that makes sense is this 0.5. So the rate technically would be 5%. Now once again, you should, you should plug this rate back in here, right? As a decimal, you'd have 1.05. You square that and multiply it by 800 and you'll get 882 every time. 0 0.5, that looks much better. 0 0.05, because 0 0.5 is 50%. Uh, so. And it definitely wasn't growing that fast. So, uh, yeah, and if I I should have done my subtraction there a little bit better. But yes, 